Douching. Uh. <laughs> uh. Y'all have been cleaning these wrong. Baby, look at me, look at me. It's not your fault. Sex ed has failed just about all of us. And even if it was half as good as it needs to be, we can bet our bottom dollar it wasn't gonna cover butt stuff to begin with. Could you actually imagine the assistant football coach teaching you how to clean out your douche bulb? Yeah, me neither. So allow me. I'm gonna show you how to clean out your douche bulb before and after each use because it doesn't matter how clean your bum is getting if you're shooting mold up your ass. Let's get into it. Now, if you did clean this properly last time, we would just give it a couple rinses and some really hot water before switching over to lukewarm water to actually douche with. But that's not always the case. Sometimes Big Daddy 69 shows up at the door right when you just finished prepping, so you leave this on your counter overnight. So to clean this out, I've got two bowls of hot water right here. One of them I'm going to be putting anti-back hand soap in. Always use hand soap, never dish soap. Your asshole does not need the grease fighting power of Dawn, babe. No. So we're just simply submerging the bulb in the hot soapy water and we're squeezing the bulb so that we can suck up as much water as we can and squeeze it out. Ooh. You don't have to go overboard with this because we're using anti-back hand soap. So the hand soap is killing all the bacteria on contact. So after about 20 seconds or so in the hot soapy water, we're gonna move it over into the plain water. Of course, if you were doing this at home, you'd probably be doing this step under a running water in your bathroom sink. So same thing, we're just submerging the bulb, sucking up as much plain water as possible and squeezing it out. Same thing with the tip, you can suck in some water in the bulb put the tip back on and give it a squeeze. You wanna do this until all the soap is gone. You don't want any soap left at all because that is going to make your asshole dry and itchy. So now that our bulb is squeaky clean, here's a couple tips on how to use it to get your ass squeaky clean too. Starting with filling up your douche properly, you wanna make sure you fill whatever douche you're using all the way up. Try to have as little air in the bulb as possible. There are two ways to do this. The first is to simply place the bulb under running water, give it a light squeeze, and let it just suck in the water. You usually have to give it about two or three light squeezes so that it's filled all the way to the top. Don't squeeze it too hard because you're just gonna shoot water all over your vulnerable toothbrushes that didn't ask to be a part of this process at all. Trust. You're looking for it to be this full the world's gentlest squeeze will reveal a convex lens of water, and that is perfect. If you squeeze it too hard, you're gonna shoot water out, and then there's gonna be space for air, and that's not what we're looking for. The second method for filling up your bowl requires a bowl of water. So I've got plain warm water here again. I'm putting the tip back on my bowl, and I'm giving it a gentle squeeze, and I'm letting it slowly suck in all the water. And there you have it, it's totally full again. You can always give it a little shake and if you feel like there's a lot of air in there still, put it back under and let it suck up anymore. Give it a little shake. I prefer the other method where you can see the convex lens and you're giving it the gentle squeeze, but I gotta give y'all options. If you're using the Better Bottoming Bowl from the Bottoms Digest, the first couple times that you insert this tip in, it might feel like it's a really tight fit and that is on purpose. Giant douches like this do not have an airtight seal where the bulb and the tip meet, which leads to air getting shot up your ass. <laughs> too much air on top of too much water because this bulb is huge can really make douching super uncomfortable and it also makes it harder to determine when you're done. It's tricky to feel empty when you have a giant air bubble trapped up your ass. Shocker. That's why our bulb is much better. It's got an airtight seal here. The first couple times it might be a little hard to get it in there, but that is on purpose. You want that airtight seal and over time it will get way easier like this. When you fill up your douche, you always wanna use lukewarm water, never hot water. If the water is too hot, it can actually irritate the hell out of your anus. But you also don't wanna use cold water because it's not gonna be as efficient as lukewarm water, which could result in over douching and multiple bulb refills. So now your bulb is ready and just like anything going into your bum, we need to lube it up. I like to use silicone lube during this part because water-based lube is just going to get washed away from newsflash, the water we're shooting up our ass. When it's time to actually flush out your bum using your douche, 
I always recommend standing when you do so. This ensures water is not going way past the point of no return, aka past the rectosigmoid junction dumping water into your sigmoid colon. That is what makes douching a nightmare when you feel like the water's never running clear. Not to mention these giant douches are really the problem because they're shooting way too much water and the tip is too damn long. But standing really helps also with a smaller douche to make sure that everything is staying right where you want it, primarily where a dick will be going. I've seen people do some wild shit during this part, doing jumping jacks, crazy poses, that is so not necessary. You're really only making things harder on yourself by doing that because you're just tipping water past the rectosigmoid junction into the sigmoid colon when you're doing all that crazy shit. Kiss. Keep it simple, slut. Ugh. Keep it simple. Now this is a trick I never see anyone talking about, but when you insert this into your bum, squeeze the water in one go. The last thing you want to do is release this bulb while it's inside of you and squeeze it again. All this is going to do is suck up everything in your rectum into your douche and again shoot air up your ass. You do not have to use all the water in the bulb every single time you're douching. When you put this bulb up your anus, squeeze it in one go, hold that squeeze while you pull it out, and then let it go. That's when you can refill it and go back to using it as much as you need to, but don't let go of that squeeze until you get this out of your butt. All right, honey, now it's time to get the water out of that fine ass. There is an art to this, especially if you wanna be a power bottom that prevents hemorrhoids. <laughs> I like to sit on the toilet with my knees propped up if you can, take a big inhale through your nose, letting your belly fill up and just let it all hang out really. And on the exhale, Moo. This will activate your pelvic floor for a fuller, better exit of all the water. This is actually called bulge embrace. It's also known as moo and poo. It's an amazing technique to activate your pelvic floor. I use it every single time I douche because it helps the process go a lot quicker. When you're douching, you do not want to be forcing out the water like you're giving birth, and you definitely don't want to be sitting on that toilet for longer than needed. One of the leading causes of hemorrhoids is simply sitting on the toilet too long, so do not do that while you're douching. Keep it moving. Alrighty, your hole is ready to respectfully be disrespected, and now it's time to clean your bulb so it's ready for you next time. Just like before, we have a bowl of hot soapy water and a bowl of warm plain water. This would probably just be running water in your bathroom. And we're doing the same thing we did before. We're submerging the bulb, squeezing in the warm soapy water. After you've done this for about 20 to 30 seconds, we move it over to the plain water. And listen y'all, shit happens. So sometimes you gotta get a Q-tip with a little bit of alcohol to get really up in that tip to get the shit out. Now this is the most important part. Everything needs to dry super duper well. We're gonna dry it off with a towel as well as possible. We're gonna squirt as much water out as we can. And we're gonna store these upright in a dry, cool place so that evaporation can do its thing until the next time a stranger comes over to <clears throat> drop his kids off in your daycare. Ah, uh, science. Baby, this is your holistic home for better bottoming. So if you ever need a quick refresher on any of these tips, linked below is a really convenient picture guide that covers all these tips. Oh God. <laughs> and if you wanna snag the better bottoming bowl from the bottom's digest to cut your prep time in half and prevent overdouching, that's linked as well. Thank you for taking better care of your booty and bottoms up.